What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm actually not doing a tutorial. Well, I guess I'm kind of doing a tutorial, but I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix this rotor brush error. And the error that I usually get when I try to rotor brush uh, videos is frame rate mismatch. And it says that the FPS is like not matching the uh, actual like composition here. So I'm going to be showing you guys two different methods to solve this problem. The first method is probably the easiest way. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do that first. So I have this clip here and say I want to rotor brush the car out right here. I double click it, bring up this rotor brush panel, everything looks good. But then I go ahead and start making my selection and you get this. It like outlines the whole entire footage and it doesn't highlight like your actual like subject here, which is my car. And you can see I get this warning right here, what I was talking about earlier. So to fix this, you just want to control Z, just get rid of all that. So you just have your normal footage here without the rotor brush. What you want to do is right click on the layer that you're trying to rotor brush and hit pre-compose. Make sure you select the second box here, move all attributes into the new composition and we can rename this to new new footage. All right, so now you can see what we're working with here. We got the new footage composition here. But if you just go ahead and apply your rotor brush, it's still going to have this warning. Even though that the rotor brush is there, you're going to have issues along the way of it just like not working. See, I'm like applying it, but it's not doing anything. So yeah, that's still bugged. Um, we're just going to delete the rotor brush to there. Um, and what we have to do is find that composition up here. I named it new footage, right click it, go to composition settings. And right here, you can see the frame rate is 59.94. This may be different for you. It might be like 120, 60, 50, whatever you shot this like footage with is what your frame rate is going to be at. And my timeline is actually in 30 frames right here. So if you want to check what your like frame rate is for your timeline, just click your composition, go to composition settings and my frame rate for this is 30. So what I'm going to do is go to this new footage, composition settings and go to 30 FPS. All right, so now when we play that back, you can see nothing changed. It's still like smooth, everything looks good. But now when we go to rotor brushes and we do our selection here, we get no warnings, everything's working. We can go frame by frame and it's working like it should be. So yeah, that's probably the easiest way to do this. I don't know any other like easier methods than this, I guess. So that's just what I use whenever I encounter this problem. But if this doesn't work for you, I'm going to go ahead and show you one more method that will work pretty much every time. So what you want to do is have media encoder open and you want to have your footage that you are trying to rotor brush. So this is the footage I had open in After Effects here. And I'm just going to drag it into our uh, media encoder here. And now you can see that you get all these different formats. So if I click the H.264 is what I usually encode with. I'm selecting that right there. You just want to leave the format on h.264 we can mess with the presets and everything but um for this video tab right here you want to leave this first setting here width and height just leave that checked keep that locked but for the frame rate right here you want to uncheck it and change it to whatever your timeline is so once again i said my timeline was 30 frames so you want to make sure that that is on 30 and then the rest of the stuff you can pretty much leave the same i have the target bit rate to 60 right here so we can do 60 or bump that up to like 100 but 60 bit rate seems to work perfectly fine so i just leave it at that and then use maximum render quality and render at maximum depth all right so now we can just render this out Hit that little green arrow and it'll render out your footage in 30 frames. So now we can open up After Effects, bring in that new render that we just encoded. So now I have this footage that is called New Comp 30 FPS and everything is playing back smoothly. The quality doesn't look any worse or anything, so that's good there. But when we go to Rotor Brush and select our subject here, we get no warnings at all. And once again, when I scrub through the timeline here, frame by frame, everything is working. I can adjust this, add new selections. And yeah, that's basically two different solutions to this problem. And yeah, hopefully this helped you guys out. If this did help your problem, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.